Hi, I'm Jen with Making the Photo. In this video, I'll show you a few techniques for changing the shape of your image. Making square images rectangular and rectangular images square. The question of how to change the aspect ratio of an image has come up a lot for creators on the Midjourney bot. But the answer to this question applies to photos and other types of digital art. An aspect ratio is the shape of your frame. It's the relationship between the width and the height of your image. Aspect ratio is expressed as a proportion. Common ratios are 1 to 1, 3 to 2, 4 to 3, and 16 to 9. The ratios can go either way. 3 to 2 is the same as 2 to 3. One side is 50% larger than the other. A 1 to 1 aspect ratio means that the height and width of your image are the same. You have a square. This is the default aspect ratio in Midjourney AI. If you want a more in-depth look at the best aspect ratios to use and how to change them in Lightroom, see my articles on expert photography. If you are new to Midjourney, you may not know that you can change the aspect ratio of your image. At the end of your prompt, type two dashes, the letters A, R, space, and the aspect ratio that you want. The first number is the length, AR 16 colon 9, will be long, AR9 colon 16 will be tall. The two dashes are called a switch and gives Midjourney specific instructions. You can use dash dash AR or dash dash aspect. You can also specify the width and the height of your image in pixels using the switch W or H. 16 by 9 is a common aspect ratio on Midjourney because it's the shape of many computer monitors. In addition to common aspect ratios, you'll see all sorts of uncommon aspect ratios on Midjourney, like 9 by 24, 10 by 16, 1 by 3, 16 by 3, 5 by 9, and 5 by 8. You can use almost any aspect ratio you want, but you have to decide on your aspect ratio up front. Once you run the prompt on Midjourney, you can't change it. You're stuck with the size. Let's go through a few ways to change the aspect ratio of your image. Which way is best depends on the specific image and your personal preferences. First, I'll show you how to crop and resize. These are two of the easiest ways to change the aspect ratio. I'm going to use the app Be Funky because it's a free online tool and it has both crop and resize. But there are many other photo editors out there that will get the job done. For more advanced edits, I have a few tricks in Photoshop. If you are a more advanced designer, jump to the Photoshop section of this video. Start by downloading your image from Midjourney. I show you how to find and download your image in my video, Creating Stop Motion Effect with Midjourney. Let's start with the most common problem in Midjourney, turning a square image into a rectangle. The easiest way is to crop your image. This works if there is space or less important features along the edges of your image. Open your image in Be Funky and select the Crop tool. Your image should fit onto the canvas. Now change the aspect ratio. You can type the exact size or select from the presets. Landscape orientation gives you a long image and portrait gives you a tall image. Move the crop placement to fit your subject and click apply crop. The resize tool works a little differently. You won't have to cut out parts of your image, but it will stretch or compress them to fit the new canvas size. In Be Funky, you have to know the exact size in pixel and not just the ratio. That's okay, there's an online aspect ratio calculator to help you. Enter the height and width of your original image. Choose a preset or use a custom aspect ratio. The calculator gives you the new pixel dimensions. If you want to make your image larger, see my video on resizing for print. Armed with the pixel dimensions that you want, open your image in Be Funky. Select the Resize tool and unlock the aspect ratio. Enter the pixels for height and width, and then click Apply. Resize will compress or expand your image, and this may or may not work for your picture. For best result, you can combine Crop with Resize. Let's compare the results. You may like one better than another. 
crop and resize will change the aspect ratio of your image, but if you're not getting the look that you want, you need a more advanced approach. Let's go into Photoshop for that. I'm going to show you how to change the aspect ratio in Photoshop using the crop tool. Then I'll show you how I would fill the space. We will use Photoshop's Content Aware Fill feature. Open your image in Photoshop and select the crop tool. Set it for the ratio that you want. You can use landscape or portrait mode. If you don't want to crop your image, drag the corners to expand the canvas. Now select the rectangular marquee tool and select the extra area of the canvas. Right click and fill. We probably won't need the more advanced Content Aware Fill tool. Select Content Aware Fill and click OK. The program will fill in the extra space with information from your image. Now do this again on the other side. If you like the result, you're done. But there's another trick I do when I want to extend the image. Select the edge of your image with the rectangular marquee tool. Just the background without the subject. Now go to Edit and select Free Edit Transform. Now drag the edge of your image to the edge of your canvas, stretching it out. Click the check mark to accept the change. Now repeat this on the other side. Finally, you can use the healing brush to clean up any areas or add some detail. Be on the lookout for repeating patterns. They draw the eye. Let's compare the results that we got using the Photoshop tools. There are a few ways to change the aspect ratio of your image. Depending on your image, all it needs is a little bit of creativity. This is Jen at Making the Photo. Let's make something amazing together.